Thanks for coming. I had, Thank you. I had fun playing with your psychotic dog. He's cute. She's not psychotic. <laughs> yeah, well. You're making those noises at her. Well, he, but I was, I was talking like the dog was. Show what you were doing. No, I was going. Rrr, rrr, no, was, really, you were like. I, I can't. I was yeah, making my bean yeah, noise. Yeah, you're psychotic. But then I was talking to him as the dog whisperer would. And, and, yeah, the dog whisperer's like shh, and then the dog. Is completely relaxed. But then I went, oh, and he started barking his head yeah, off. Yeah, she was trying to talk to you. <laughs> yeah, I think she was swearing at me. Yeah. <laughs> now, thanks for coming, but you, you come like every decade. It's, you have I been know, here like I know. Years. Talk shows, I, I always feel a little out of place in that. Really? No, why? Yeah. You're, you're, you're beautiful. I think they should be really kind of relaxed. I, I wish that, you know, um, you could just be in your pajamas and, you know, it's like people watch these shows at nighttime. And, you know something? And I'm doing another show after this. In my pajamas. Why don't you come? And we... <laughs> Look, let, let's get this one out of the way. We'll just get okay. this out of the way, and then we'll do the other little show. No, wow. All right. Oh, yeah. But wouldn't that be nice if there were? Because you know, it's it's late at night, and yeah. you, you you watch the shows, and I just want a little quiet at night, and really? just kind of okay. like chill yeah. out. And and um, I was thinking, like, you know, in a lounge suit or a in lounge a suit. So we've been doing or... the show probably in the late seventies. Yeah, that would be, that would, that's exactly it. I want to look like a leisure suit. Yeah, exactly. Now, do you guys know each other? Have you? Um, I, I met you a long time ago at a, at a bar somewhere. Yeah, we met a couple times. Right? Yeah. yeah. And then I saw him, um, I, I, I like saw him at the, um, <laughs> I saw him at, um, we're staying at the same hotel and his, his back was turned uh, to me. I, I didn't know it was him, but I'm, I'm such a fan. And, um, then he turned around and it was Matt Dillon. And the first thing I said was, I have hair extensions. It's just, that's so clear. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. You do really? This is not real. real. Wow. Why didn't you tell me that? You felt the need to. I felt the need. You know, yeah. and if, if I, 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 I think it's the thing about plastic really? surgery too. If I ever have plastic yeah. surgery, we'd be like, oh, uh, which I, I, I really don't want to have it because I think you know. Yeah. Women should. Well, you don't need it. You're very good. I would like to, you know, um, play those character parts yeah. and. Like so if you years. did, you would say. But if I did, yeah. I'd be like, they'd be like, oh, you look great, and I'd be like, it's all surgery. <laughs> I would be able to like, be like, yeah, I have my nose done, I have my eyes done. Now, so these, this is not your hair. These are hair this is extensions. Hair, I'm doing a movie now called Spring Breakdown okay. with Amy Poehler and Rachel Dratch from okay. Saturday Night Live. Sure, sure, sure. Funny girls, but, and it's kind of like a girl comedy beer movie. Right. I play um, a, a woman who has just lost her cat. And, um... This sounds like I, the ultimate chick flick. Yeah. I, <laughs> I work for a senator, played by Jane Lynch. Yeah. And uh, she sends me on a special assignment okay. to go undercover to uh, look after her daughter in spring break, who she thinks is like a wild child. Oh, I see. But she's actually really conservative, and she's a dork. She's not okay. conservative, but she's a dork. She's like medieval fair, like really dorky things. And so I have this hair, which it looks, you know, I, I right. have this kind of beehive thing going now. Well, but it's very pretty. In, in, in the movie, it's, it's very down and, and very heavy. So I like having things done for Well, you know, arts. you always choose interesting projects. I've ever seen a lot of interesting little movies. You have another one coming out Friday. Was it called Owen, Ohio? Yes, I have a movie called Owen, Ohio. What was that about? Um, that is about a woman who's never had an orgasm. <laughs> I dated her. You did. <laughs> no, no. About a woman who's never had an orgasm. So, so well, all right. Now I want to hear more about that. No, no, why? Well, it's the story of my life. The, uh... <laughs> I was surprised when I found out they had them too. No, no go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> it was something like 35 million women or 60 million women. I know all something of them. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So 35 million it, women have never had an orgasm, is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. I, I guess they just don't know what it is. Right. Wow. So they, they, and they don't feel like obviously they deserve to have one. And so um, with and the help you... of like, you know, other things, um, some props are involved in them. It's a, it's yes. a clean sex comedy. Yeah. And who was the leading man? Uh, Danny DeVito. Well, you go right there. Yeah. Yeah. You go right there. Yeah. Oh. And Liza Minnelli, Liza Minnelli's in the movie as well, and she, um, Does she have an plays orgasm? an orgasm oh. therapist, oh, okay. and she's just amazing. Okay. I love her. What did you say? I missed that. No, nothing, nothing. I just asked if she had an orgasm in the movie as well. No. Oh, she yeah, was... she's, had, she's had a lot. Yeah. She, doesn't, she doesn't have it. She's, she's always married these gay men. I just wondered how she was working out. Yeah. Well, that's, yeah. That's another problem. But, now, but she's had, yeah, because she's uh, teaching all these women how to have orgasm. Okay. Now, do you, you sort of deliberately seek out the small movies, don't no, you? No, I don't. They you just don't? come to me, yeah. Oh, I mean, every okay. part is like, you know, how I got Superman. 
um, you know, the studio movies are basically like, you know, uh, decisions by committee. You know, everyone has to agree, right. oh, who do you like, who do you like, uh, let's cast her, let's think about that. And so I was doing a play at the time, and I heard there was interest in me in, in playing uh, this part in Superman. I was like, okay, let them, let them talk it out, let's see how serious right. they are, if it'll come around. And um, it, it, it did, and I was like, oh, I, w I would love to read it. And they were like, um, we can't let you read the script. So you have to like, accept Oh, them? well, I'll accept, yeah. Wow. I mean, why am I gonna, I'm not gonna say no to that, but right. you yeah. know. And so, um, yeah, and that I said yes to the part, and then they flew someone from Australia. They stopped off in London to deliver the script to Kevin Spacey, and then they flew to New York to deliver the you script. You mean he stayed with Kevin while he read the script and then yes. brought it to you? There's only one copy? Uh, at that time, well, I'm sure there were. You know what I mean. More. But, I mean. but yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, you know, a Tom Cruise movie or something. It was like they waited outside as I read the script, and uh, yeah, yeah, it was a lot of drama around it. But it's a, it's a, it's a you know, it's an amazing movie. Oh, I know no, you getting, haven't seen it. I yet. know, I will see it, though. And it's yeah, getting wonderful. Yeah, you should. Reviews. It's really good. It's getting wonderful it's reviews. It's very warm yeah. and uh, romantic, as well as, um, I mean, I got scared at the, you know, all the action scenes are just right. like crazy. It's like being at, you know, Magic Mountain or something. Right. Okay, but, but again, you, you have gotten wonderful write-ups. you please come back again? Yeah, at this rate, you won't be back till 2016. But come back soon. Yeah. Thank you, Parker. Be right back with Smokey Robinson right after this.